Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to start another weekly reading vlog. So this one's going to be two weeks. As I said, this is going to be two weeks and it's probably going to be not very long because I'm already feeling the slump coming. <laughs> so it is Tuesday and the first week of the month I did my reading fantasy romance where I read four books. And the last week I did Porathon where I read five books. So I've already read nine month books this month. I'm kind of burnt out. I also have a whole lot of college work and stuff to do so that's also a lot of fun for me. Um, but what I am currently reading is My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies by Frederick Bachman and I'm only 68 pages in and I like it so far um, but with a lot of his books you know it's a slow beginning getting to know the characters and then like real emotional towards the end so I'm prepared for that to just be the whole story and I'm I'm intrigued to see what I'll think. I'm keeping track of my ranking of them. So yeah, I'll probably continue some more of this this evening, but I have some college work to do first. And then on Thursday, so two days, <laughs> I'm going to see Les Mis. So I have seen it before. I saw it three years ago. Yeah, I saw it just about three years ago and I loved it. I mean I've already like I yeah you know, everyone knows Lame is and like I had seen the movie and stuff but like seeing it live is a whole other like it's so good and so I can't wait to see it again. So another reason why not a lot of reading is gonna be done. So I just said I'd start this off and hopefully that way I will hold myself accountable to actually read. Hi so update time Mm, I don't actually really have much to update you on, but I had makeup on, so I was like, hmm, that was a good time to update. Because I have actually done no reading since I last spoke to you, so I'm still on page 60 something. Uh, grandmother sends her regards and apologies. Uh, the slump has begun. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I wanted to try and stop it. I failed. I've just accepted it. But, in other news, so it is Thursday. I don't know what date. I feel like the 17th or something? I don't know. <laughs> and it's all I missed today for the second time. So, also, the figure skating women's event happened, which, hmm. I'm not going to talk about the ladies figure skating for too long because I, nobody really wants to hear it, I don't think. And number two, I have actually kind of spoken about it recently in like two different reading sprints on my channel. So I'm not going to say much else because I think it's all been said before and people on the internet have probably said it a lot better than me. But figure skating is a disaster. I hate it. It is the absolute worst. Yeah, just ugh. But K.R. Sakamoto from Japan got a bronze medal and I am so damn happy. And yeah, like it, I was just like so damn happy. I was like scroll, I was like refreshing the results because I was like waiting for Les Mis to start. Um, and yeah, so I was just like re scrolling the results and I like, I presumed it was going to be a Russian sweep because, uh, because uh, it's been rigged that way since like four years ago but uh a lot of mistakes plus like a little bit of controversy and all of this and I think they're kind of like we're weighing their options and we're like oh it'd probably be better if we didn't have a Russian sweep um and so she got on it like she should actually be first if scoring was done the way it's supposed to be but it's not yeah I'm so happy about it and then I went and I saw Lamez for the second time oh boy I forgot how good it was so the first time I went to see it, I saw it, um, I saw it three years ago now. And I went with my school and I was like in the circle. I was like near the back of it. And so I didn't have the best view, but like just like it was still just so amazing. Like everything about it was incredible, but it was like hard to see. <laughs> and your girl doesn't have the best eyesight in the world. So it wasn't like the best experience ever, but it was like super good. And yeah, and so when it was announced that it was coming back, I was like, yes. And I got tickets for Christmas of 2019. We were supposed to go September, 2020. That obviously did not happen. And so it got pushed to February of 2022. So about a year and a half late, but it finally happened. We went, we saw it, we were in the second row in the middle. And yeah, it was just, as amazing as I remember, if not better, I, yeah, I'm a little bit emotional right now. Like, it is just, the songs are going around in my head. I want to see it again immediately. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the tickets are sold out. 
so that's not happening also it's like a two hour drive up and then a two hour drive down so i definitely can't go see it again but oh it's so good and that's the update i love this okay and i now have to try and reorganize my programs i only have four this really annoys me because of the way the size of the programs are okay you can move little me <laughs> so obviously six and heathers these are the two that i've seen this year well it was last year technically but like they're like the same size they're like these small ones hey the new lame is one is also the one of the big ones but it's like why don't you have a consistent side please like please give me something consistent because that's why i wanted to have them in order when i went to see them but then i would have like two big ones two small ones and that was really annoying me and now i have three big ones and two small ones <laughs> So I think I'm, well, I might as well now just put them in the order that I went to see them. So I'll put the original name is one there and I'll put the new one over there. Yeah, I'll just have to hope that I see one that has like a big one to match it out. So yeah, so that is the update for now. I am kind of hungry, so I'm going to have some food and I'm probably not going to read tonight. I could because it's only like eight o'clock because it was a matinee show, but I don't think I will. So it is now Sunday and I have finished my first book of the week and my only book of the week. But yeah, um, I mean, I knew it was going to happen. Red, my grandmother sends her regards and apologies by, I was best say by Bert Marie, no, uh, by Frederick Bachman. And I gave it a four out of five stars. It's 340 pages and it took me an entire week to read. So yeah, but it wasn't because it was bad. It was definitely because of a slump. And yeah, I don't know where I would put this on my list of Frederick Brockman books. A man called Obey is still top tier. <laughs> and it follows Elsa and she is seven, almost eight, and her life is a little bit of a mess right now. She's having a hard time in school. Her mother and her stepdad are having a baby and then her grandmother kind of sends her on a quest with these letters to tell all of these people in her life that she's sorry and while that does happen I feel like it's a lot slower than you originally expect also I have a cold sore on my lip and it looks nasty so I'm very sorry about that it's definitely not as big a part as I thought it would be like I thought basically the whole book would be her delivering these letters discovering about her grandmother and all of this stuff and while yes that was a big part it was definitely kind of more like so there'd be like 50 pages of just Elsa and her life and all of this stuff then there would be like 50 pages of her delivering this one letter and try it and then like learning about that and then we kind of and then like again we sit with her character for a while and then another their letter so it's actually not that many letters um but once again I just loved the way that he connects all of the characters in really interesting ways and that's something that happened in anxious people so you find out oh this person is connected to this person through this person and that is the exact same for this book and uh like those revelations were really interesting and it's even more interesting because this is the first book anyway that i've noticed by him and i've read five where there's actually crossover so Bert marie who obviously has her own book Bert marie was here is a like pretty big side character in here and it's actually before Bert marie was here and i believe this book was actually released before Bert marie as well and it's weird because I don't know which one I would recommend you read first because I feel like in a lot of ways the stuff that like finding out stuff about Marie's life you find that all out in this book and so I feel like reading her story I feel like you would already start a lot more sympathetic towards Brit Marie whereas like like with a man called Ove uh Ove and Brit Marie they're both pretty strict in their life and they are very stubborn about what their beliefs are and so it takes you a while to grow to love them and to kind of figure out why they tick the way they do and so I feel like with this one um if you read that first you already know so much of her backstory that you don't learn until like a good bit into Bert Marie was here and so even though Bert Marie was here was released after this one I would probably recommend you read that first and then you kind of see um and like it is kind of weird to go back and see her as a character you first think that she is but again she she gets like basically two books of development so I really love seeing like the crossover and um and yeah and so 
that was really interesting and then the other thing is um that this one had a very unique writing style like um obviously all of his books are very just character driven they're not really focused on a big plot and like usually there is a bit of something happening but it is mostly just the journey you are going on with these characters and how everything in their life affects them and this one is unique because usually I feel like a lot of his uh, stories have followed older characters and yes there's a lot of older side characters in this book but our main character is a seven almost eight year old and she is very but she is kind of a wise before her time eight year old because of the fact she spends so much time with adults and she doesn't really have any friends her age and as I said all the main side characters and the people she has grown up around are are you know middle age up <laughs> And so she is, so she is definitely a bit like old before her time. Her best friend in the world was her grandmother. And so that also, uh, so she, it was very interesting reading from her perspective. And I think Frederick Hoffman did a really good job of it because you really see kind of the contrast of her because she is so smart and intelligent and the way you like she pieces things together is very smart and it's not unrealistic because I feel like a lot of times people do underestimate the intelligence of children and so I did think that it was realistic that a child would like totally just take out their phone and google this and yeah and so like I feel like it made sense like you see this very wise kind of discussion sometimes like she's just like talking about death and like what that means and then but then you see her like describing it things as this made up world and talking about secret languages and all of this and so it's just a really big contrast between that she is a really young child and she doesn't know how to deal with all of this stuff in her life and then just her being really mature no i i'm fine i know that and so it's i think like she was a really interesting character despite the fact she was only like almost eight <laughs> and so yeah so I was quite surprised by like that and yeah and so the way it is written is a lot of the time it is written as a fairy tale world Just because her and her grandmother they had like this secret language they had this made-up world that they went to when they were almost asleep and it had all of these rules and all of these creatures and all of these stories so a lot of the story is her describing the real world as this fictional one and I think it took a little bit to get used to that because I guess I wasn't really expecting it to be written that way but when you did get used to it like I think it really it really made the story what it was and once again like always towards the end it just it gets you okay it makes you emotional so yeah uh I, as I said other four star um I really do like Frederick Bachman's book. He writes some really good contemporaries and I'm not a big contemporary reader. I'm now up to five books that I've read from him and I think so I, I'm still unsure whether I want to read the Beartown sequel or not. Tell me if you've read it and whether it's good because I know the rating isn't as high on Goodreads but I'm still kind of interested but I'm unsure but I think other than that there's his non-fiction which I'm not going to read and then also his two novellas which is Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer and The Deal of a Lifetime and so I'm definitely going to read those two I think I might try and read them next month and then do a video where I rank all of his books and tell you what way I think you should read them so hello again ignore the lip that's kind of why I haven't been filming a lot <laughs> but yeah I had a cold sore and then I had another cold sore and then they merged into like one massive cold sore it was nasty <laughs> but it is now tuesday ah uh, i don't know what date it is 20th 22nd oh yeah it's tuesday <laughs> so yeah so it's the 22nd and yesterday i had sprints with on my channel with Casty and lizzie and marissa and i started the bone ships by rj barker and i got 79 pages in last night i haven't read anything else today it's just one of those days um i well, I know why I haven't read it, and it's because of them. Okay, I can't really blame them. So after we finish Sprints, uh, Casty and Lizzie, and me, again, I'm not without blame, we just started chatting. Next thing it was one o'clock. And so I had to get up at like eight o'clock. And I am not the best sleeper anyway. Like, it takes me a while to like get to sleep. 
and I always wake up early because there's people moving around in the house. <laughs> so yeah, didn't get them a lot of sleep. And so I've kind of had a bit of a headache all day. So that's kind of why I haven't read anything else. Or at least that's the reason I'm giving. Um, so yeah, so it's all their fault. Yeah. I mean, it was really fun, so I'm not that mad about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I was going to pick up the Memory of Souls, but uh, with the way my reading is, it is probably smarter for me to pick this up and get it done. And so I can like be sure that I have this done before the live show. And I'm also on Thursday, which it'll already be after happening when this goes up, but Cassidy is doing reading sprints at 7. Uh, and it's like all of the hosts and I think we might all be reading the bond ships <laughs> depends really but I started it now it's fine I won't be finished it by Thursday because as I said reading it's not necessarily that I'm in a slump because I do want to read it's just I don't have a lot of time for reading it's hard to try and make time for reading um and I did have time to actually read today but I just ended up watching like YouTube and stuff I can't really tell you too much about this so far because we haven't actually got to like the war bit of it. Well, I actually stopped in the middle of like the first battle, <laughs> which is very bad. But so I think like next section that I read is going to be more heavy on that stuff. But so far it's like, it's okay. Um, I like, it's nothing mind blowing extraordinary, but like there's nothing bad about it. It's, it seems like a solid fantasy so far, but as I said, I'm only 79 pages in and I, and uh, a lot of people have said that the first half is pretty slow to get into, uh, but like the second half is crazy. So like I kind of expected it not to be like super interesting for the first half. So yeah, that's all for now. Hi, so it's been a while since I updated you and that's because I haven't read anything. So I last spoke to you on Monday after my sprints, or was it Tuesday? But I had done sprints on Monday and I was on page 78. And I have now read up to page 247. So I'm almost at the, I'm almost after reading 200 pages today. I'm on sprints with Cassidy. So, and uh, all of the other co-hosts. So that was nice. And as I said, um, I've made some really good progress and I still don't have extremely strong feelings about it. I'm liking it more now. It's kind of, it's still kind of sitting at the like, high three star low four star kind of range right now but it's definitely i think it's getting better and so i think it's going to firmly like move into that solid four stars phase hopefully but yeah um because i wasn't particularly like enjoying any of the characters or anything like that like they weren't intriguing me but there's been kind of more and more characters being added and it's really kind of changing the dynamic of the group and so i'm enjoying that and it kind of, I think it starts to pick up when they set off on their journey. So uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, so kind of when they set off on their journey, uh, the pace kind of changes and I've started enjoying it more. But I will say, I don't think any of the books in this series are going to be five stars because I just don't really like the writing style that much. I find that it's very wordy and he, I feel like RJ Barker, someone like told him once, that you have to like be really descriptive like everything has to be described and it's just unnecessary at times because it's just I feel like everything is described like I literally just opened the page and it's cruelly toothed rocks who describes it like that if the writing feels so forced and unnatural not everything like cut it out so yeah, so the writing is not my favorite. It's quick enough to read, but it's just, it's not that great of a writing style because it is definitely wordy and not in a good way. So yeah, I'm going to continue. I There's one final sprint on and I'm gonna try and get one or two more chapters done and then I will be done for the day. And I think I might try and finish it tomorrow, but that might be, that might be ambitious. Hello everyone. So it is now Sunday and I'm here to wrap this up. So this has been a really bad vlog and I'm very sorry about that and also because it's like probably the only thing you're getting this week. So I'm doubly sorry because it's not a very good video. But oh well. So I am a tad stressed. That is all you need to know. 
I have so much work to do. And next week is not going to be fun because I and I I had a whole plan for like a vlog I wanted to do, but I'm honestly if I get one book done in the entirety of next week, I'll be happy. <laughs> um, so that probably wouldn't be a very good vlog. So we're gonna just leave that. I've just been doing a whole load of college work, like so much. And I think next week is the last week of me being like really stressed out and having like a million things to do. I should calm down after that. So that's good. Or at least until like the end of March, start of April, then things are gonna get crazy again. <laughs> so this week I actually did finish a book. I finished The Bone Ships by RJ Barker and I do I want to tell you my full feelings or will I leave that as a surprise for the live show? Hmm. I think I might leave it. So I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to tune in to the live show, which will be on Covers with Cassidy's channel on Saturday. Is it like the fourth or fifth? I can't remember. <laughs> what are dates? It's the fifth. Okay. So it'll be on Cassidy's channel on the fifth and you'll have to tune in to see my feelings. I think I'll have like a good bit to talk about hopefully. I hope I don't forget everything that happened since then. And I have also started The Memory of Souls by Jen Lyons but I'm literally the tiniest bit in so I really can't tell you anything about that either. But I do love that they, she basically puts a refresher in at the very start. I do love that because it helps a lot. I'm really excited to continue The Memory of Souls uh, because I love that series and the fourth book is coming out in paperback in April or end of March. No, April, I think. I can't remember. I think it's either like the one of the very last days of March or like the very start of April. And then the final book comes out in hardback the end of April. But I mean, I'm going to wait until I can get it in paperback, but I'll probably buy the ebook of it because I'm really excited. So I'm trying to finish Memory of Souls so I can get excited for the next ones because I want to get all caught up before the final book comes out. So yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> anyway, so sorry for the bad vlog. I'm, yeah, booktube just is not working right now. <laughs> and it sucks because I really like filming videos and talking about things and like doing sprints and all of that stuff. But yeah, I'm taking, I think I'm going to be taking basically a break for the week that like this is going up. So like the Monday, if I edit it, <laughs> that you're seeing it. I think I'm going to be taking a break that week so there won't be any sprints or any other videos. So yeah, I'm sorry and I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!